Hi, how are you doing my friends? Well, today I have a really exciting news that finally Excel has released a PDF connector to get the data from PDF and we are going to look some amazing examples that how can we get the data from the PDF and in fact we are going to see that how can we get data from the multiple PDFs as well. So over to you my friend Faraz and show us some amazing stuff. Well thank you Zenzo and my friends before we go and see this new PDF connector I would just like to show you the sample data what we have. So this is my sales report where we have uh, the sales report in fact which is written in text and we have some tables over here and we need to extract these tables in our excel file now the challenge is that if your data is having the table is stored as an image like how we have it over here on the page number two this is as an image so the pdf connector will not able to recognize it and we cannot get this information so the most important thing that it should be stored as a text or as a table like in this case it's a table so it will automatically recognize this as a table and give us in the pdf navigator pane so let us quickly go and grab this data so let's go to data get data from and this amazing feature from pdf my files are stored on the desktop so i'm going to select the sales report the process is exactly the same how we are going to select for the excel file or csv file so this is our power query navigator we have the tables as i mentioned this is so cool in fact we see the page numbers as well wow that's amazing yes absolutely right zenzo we get the page numbers as well this is amazing so you have a table you say that table one table two and in fact it tells the page number of that table so if we saw that before in our data, we have an image over here. So if you see this is an image which is not been getting pulled in the data. So we are going to select the page number one and page number three, transform. And that looks good. So we are going to do slight transformation where we'll just say that remove the null values and use first rows as headers and my data is ready we don't need this column number five so we can remove that and we can simply hit close and load in fact i need to do the same step for the page number three as well so i can select over here remove the null values again use first rows as headers and this time everything looks good so i will say close and load this looks great so let us quickly verify the records with the pdf so let me open the PDF over here and let's open our Excel workbook and let's see the PDF data. So we have exactly we are having the totals over here. Let me keep it side by side. That looks good. And the records are correct. So now let us go and grab the data from the multiple PDF. But before that, let's quickly look our data set. We have the sales invoice number one and which is again stored as a table. We can see over here it has text and table and again we have this invoice number three which is as an image. So when I try to pull this image I will get an error in my query. So we need to handle that error as well. So let's go and quickly connect the data to the multiple source. Now get data from file and this time I'm going to select from folder. We are not going to grab the data from PDF. So let me locate my folder PDF invoices and we will say OK. Now the data is getting connected and we will say transform data. Now once my data is into the query editor, now I'll simply hit combine files. And that will make a custom M code the background and that will allow us to combine the file so it has given me some options to select from the table where in fact it has promoted the headers for the company name and it has promoted the headers for the print name and print time so i would prefer to go with the page one rather than going with the table so i will say okay so our files are combined right now and in fact we are going to go to this sample file and we are going to do all the changes over here 
So we would just revoke this step promote headers and we would just like to grab this information of company name, invoice number and the date. So now in place of company name, I'm going to simply copy and say add column, add custom column. I could have used a conditional column as well. And I would write an if statement if my column one is equal to company name, then my friend return me the column two else null. That's cool. And we got that company name. Right click and i'm going to say fill down this is an awesome stuff in power query so we got that fill down information and same way i'm going to do it for the invoice number great now we have this invoice number information now the challenging part is over here the sales amount so i will just simply copy this there are many ways to handle this i will just simply use replace values sales amount with the null and that's will replace that value and in fact i just need to remove these date written word so i'll again select the column replace value and say the word date and with nothing that's blank and again select the column right click and fill down this information so we have got everything ready so we need the date column which is over here holding by control key we need the customer name we need the invoice number we need the amount and we need this column as well and right click remove other columns you don't need them and we are going to just select the row which has the word grand total wonderful so we got this record now we don't need this column of grand total i can remove this column and i can see my pdf invoice is having some errors no worries i can just remove this change type but before i go and remove the errors i'll go to transform sample file and give this column size name i'll call this as a date holding the shift key all the way to amount going to my transform and detect data type so that will give me the correct data type now let's go back to the invoice and i can select this column go to home and remove errors in fact it is not removing the error let me go and debug and see what it is so expand step go back over here so we have the error here itself so we have to remove the error in fact over here so let's say remove error insert the step yes it has removed the error and now when we come over here this is gone so you have to apply the correct step so that error can be removed so let's go say close and load to now just imagine if you have hundreds of these kind of pdf and you want to extract that information this would be so easy you would have easily made this way maybe somebody has entered something wrong in the system you need to get the data from the pdf and then match it up with your SOA. You can do all that stuff with this new PDF connector. Thank you for joining me, Robot. And by the way, my friends, this is really an exciting stuff. I would be really happy to hear your feedbacks in the comment section. Do let me know how this PDF connector will change the way you work with Excel. And write me in the comment section. And make sure that you hit the like button, share this video, and as usual, you have to subscribe my channel. For the latest updates till then take care bye